this is me going back on the other side of the ping pong. I'm attacking Prego University. This is the part of the video I most disagree with. Feminism began to advocate that men should that women should behave like men. And this is kind of why I see this feminism 2.0 is just being like patriarchy 2.0. It's still sexist, I think. And feminists should be against it. And feminists should like find this video and critique and attack the hell of it. It does make one good point though, and that is that feminists attack the nuclear family too much. I think the only thing that's bad about the nuclear family is if it's seen only in the traditional sense of men uh, having one role in the nuclear family and women having a different role. Now, if you, there is a way to have a non-sexist version of the nuclear family where um, spousal roles are not so gender-laden to where the women could work, when the man uh, is the house father. But if a woman decides to be a housewife, that's her business. I don't see why I don't see what's sexist about it or why a feminist have to be such a, why a feminist would be such a jerk about it. That's the only good point of the video. The rest of the points are crap. And it, it basically argues that men and women are really, really different. What's their proof? George Orwell says that men and women are really different. George Orwell, who lived decades ago, isn't alive today to see modern evidence, and who is a social critic, not a scientist. The amount to which men and women are physically different is a matter of science, and the, the amount to which men and women are different in a social sense is um, a role for social science. So, yeah, George Orwell is not exactly a great source for proof for the differences between women. So yes, its main argument against their main argument against feminism and for the replacement of it with its version of what's called feminism 2.0 is that uh, feminists say that women can act like men. And the context of course is that men have dominated through the patriarchy society forever. So in the context women becoming like men is simply women becoming equal and free and not living under a just a screwed up patriarchal system and overthrowing that whole thing. So they, they realize just how misogynistic they sound by saying the problem with old school feminism is that it makes women want to be just like the guys. Like really? That's the argument? And uh, they, they say things like the role of women is to civilize men. Like, how do you know that the role that your belief that the role of women is to civilize men is just not a co social construct? Now, I'm not against social constructs altogether, as it may sound. For instance, social constructs are very important. For instance, the government is a social construct. Businesses are a social construct. You know, and we shouldn't attack them just on the basis of, the, of that alone. A social construct is just something that if no one believed in it, it wouldn't exist. So language is a social construct. If everyone stopped believing in language and stopped speaking, there'd be no language left. Because it, it's, it only exists through belief. So yeah, this is essentialism. Essentialism is the uh, acting like the cultural aspects of something is like some sort of hardwired scientific thing. So the essence of a male and contemporary Western society into up until recently has been that they have short hair. To say that men should have short hair, it is hardwired, men are made to have short hair, women are made to la have long hair, and if a man has long hair and a woman has short hair, that's wrong and unnatural and disgusting and should be fought against. That would be retarded. And I don't mean to use ableist language. So what I mean by that is just illogical and just bad, bad reasoning. So they make arguments like the role of women is a civilized man. It's the same kind of essentialist logic. And another thing that's even more disturbing is this, the uh, sexual part of feminism 2.0. Their whole idea is that, well, for a long time, it's been uh, men who 
try to have sex with as many people as possible. When men just go and have sex with everything in sight. That's fine. Men can have all the sex they want. They can just just bang, try to bang everything. But uh, women can't do that. What? It's, where in tradition has it been that women can do that? No, man has sex with like 20 people and he's a, he's a hero, a stud. A woman has sex with 20 people. She's a slut and a whore. Which, by the way, I really hate those terms and see them as misogynistic terms. That's why I'm, on one, I'm one of those people who wants to abolish terms like whore and slut entirely and just get rid of them. They're misogynist. Have no, they have no place in modern society. So yeah, yeah. There's just so this is not feminism 2.0. This is patriarchy 2.0. It's just that a lot of people with really bad ideas and they, their ideas have a bad brand associated with them, they like to rebrand. And that sometimes, oddly enough, they like to rebrand themselves as the people they disagree with the most, as a way to appealing to the most, most mass society. So you have a very anti-feminist, misogynistic, patriarchal ideology that doesn't call themselves patriarchy 2.0 men, we're for we're the man people. Now, like they call themselves feminism 2.0, the probably because they literally believe that the patriarchy is awesome for women. Therefore, if you support the patriarchy and uh, sexism and traditional gender stereotypes for men and women, that you are automatically pro woman and therefore a feminist. Which, of course, doesn't make any sense at all. And by the way, this is from Prager University, which is not a real university. It's like Liberty University. It's one of those, like, conservative indoctrination camps. That's what I kind of refer to it as, where you can get BS degrees and propaganda. And um, Prager University's YouTube page is just video after video after video of just mind-numbing, far-right nonsense that you'll... That's just almost as bad as this, or worse. You'll you'll just be face face de desking. Your you won't even face palm. Your face will be on your computer desk. Like why, why? Anyway, yes, that's my point.